It is March 2nd today. I can't believe I'm already back to hunting this again. Well, I've been I've been hunting this for 11 days now. But it's it just happened so fast. I was hunting this in a different game and then you know, I finished hunting in that game, then I hunt, finished hunting in another game. I started hunting in these games, and now I'm back to here. I've come full circle. I'm not sure if anyone's gonna... Uh, anyone's gonna watch tonight. It is midterm season. Which is the case for me, too. In fact, in under a week, today is Wednesday, so, but next Wednesday I have probably the hardest midterm of my life. I said under a week because, you know, it's technically technically nighttime right now I would be doing my midterm next week during the morning so under a week from right now I probably have the hardest midterm of my life I only roughly began studying and to be honest I basically learned nothing from studying absolutely nothing so, what am I doing when I have the hardest midterm of my life coming up in a, under a week? Well, clearly making the incorrect life choices. Instead of, you know, studying, passing, getting a degree, earning money. I'm here sitting down wasting my life by constantly opening and closing one game for a slightly different result. And let's be honest, this result's even worse. This result is even less worth it than Reggie Drago was. But there's a specific reason I wanted to do this tonight. I am not, I am, I'm not muted, am I? Okay, I had to check. Specific reason I wanted to do this tonight. Because tonight, like the title says, is day 11 of me hunting this again. And full odds too, because Shiny Charm's broken in this game. They didn't, they didn't, I, they either didn't program it correctly, or I think they made the executive decision. Remember the last time I streamed me shiny hunting Reggie Ice. I was also 11 days into the hunt. I streamed it and I got the shiny. Now, obviously, there's no evidence. There's, there's honestly nothing hinting at that would be replicated right now. But, you know, it's not impossible. It's extremely unlikely, but it's not impossible. <laughs> Who knows, maybe day 11 of live streaming hunting Reggie Ice. Maybe that's the ticket. Yes, I have Pokemon Cafe over there. I don't think I'm going to play that game anymore. Mm, it, it was fun. For like the two days and like an hour and a half that I played it. I'm also not going to be playing any background music this time because last time what I was afraid of, exactly what I was afraid of, ended up being the case. That is, I don't know what music is copyright and what's safe for me to use. So last time I played Wooden Kingdom, 
from Mario Odyssey, and turns out that's completely copyrighted. So, you know, a good chunk of the VOD was muted. That's disappointing. I can always, I suppose I can always just go to, you know, like, NCS. But it's like, but video game music just slaps that much harder. Well, that's not always the case. I haven't really heard too many NCS songs. That ain't it. I've been staring at ordinary Reggie Ice for 11 days now. I'm sure I can tell the difference when a slightly darker one shows up. Hey buddy, what are you up to? Do you have midterms like I do? Are you studying like I should be right now, but I am not? God, I just make the wrong decisions in life. Just got back from school this late? You have class this late? You said got back, so did you have an in-person class this late? Oof, must be rough. 10 at night, and you just got back from class. I don't think I ha I had night classes ever since, like, high school. Oh, but, yeah, like I, like I said earlier, in under a week, like, to this day, next week, next Wednesday... I probably have the hardest midterm of my life. And here I am, making the wrong life decision by doing this. There's also no counter, you know, because I've been doing this shit for 11 days. I don't know what number I'm on. I don't keep count. Only reason I did keep count for Reggie Drago, because I only was doing it while live. So I figured why not keep count? I'm sure because there's footage of it, I could just go back and count whenever I wanted to, but when am I ever gonna do that? When would I ever do that? Like, what's the point? Hey man, I, I I think you have midterms going on, right? I'll do you one better. Why is Gamora? I don't know. So I don't know how long I'm going to be here for tonight. I still have to, you know, go hit the treadmill. The sooner I do that, the better, honestly, because once I, once I f get that done, you know, build up a good sweat, I need to go wash my hair after this. I haven't washed my hair in days. You just finished midterms, Lucky. Lucky. Am I watching Batman? Of course I am. Or, of course, I will. I don't have tickets yet. Of course, I'm hyped for this movie, but it's, like, not so hyped that I'm, like, I have to go see it opening weekend. Of course, I'll see it in theaters eventually, but I don't know when. Beat the treadmill. Yes, beat its ass for all the pain and torment it has given. No pain, no gain, right?
I'm so hyped for Batman, though, of course. Of course I want to I want to watch it, but... You know... Reading week. I mean, I feel like reading week is, like, the perfect time to go see a movie, because, you know, I don't have school. It's actually the one week in the semester I have off of class. But then again, on the other end of the spectrum, it's also meant to study for your midterms coming up after that. I'm pretty sure it's probably sold out right now anyways. It's coming out Friday, isn't it? And today's Wednesday. No way I'm going to get opening t opening weekend seats that are good at this moment. Eh, no big deal. I'll see it eventually. <clears throat> so yeah, I gotta go do the treadmill after, wash my hair, and then I gotta wait for it to dry. I normally don't blow dry my hair, but lately I have been. Mostly because I wash my hair at like 1 in the morning, and it's like I'm not going to wait like 2 hours for it to air dry. And, you know, I'm tired, I want to go to bed. So, lately I've been blow drying my hair. I'll let you guys in on a really stupid thing I do when it comes to drying my hair. Like, my hair doesn't exactly stay up the way I want it to. It mostly just, you know, droops down and forms a bowl haircut, which I don't really like. I don't like using hair gel, because, you know, then I have to wash it every night. I have to get rid of the hair gel in my hair every day, and I don't want to wash my hair every single day. Blow drying my hair to stand up doesn't really work for me, so what I do to get my hair to at least somewhat stand up is every time I wash my hair, in order for me to, like, when I let it air dry, I kind of, you know, lie down, lie down and just let my hair just hang downwards, like, I put my head upside down. Like, my entire head is just dangling off, and then my hair is just sticking up as it dries. So when I lift up my head, and it's all dry, it sticks up. I know that sounds really stupid, but hey, it works. I mostly have to do that when my hair gets long, which, you know, I, I guess I'm due for a haircut at some point. I don't know. Part of the reason why I don't really wash my hair in the morning anymore, I used to do that when my hair was shorter. I don't really have anything to talk about tonight. I'm just here to do this. <clears throat> Dang, I don't think I brought any water with me either. My water bottle's empty. Damn it. I've been doing this shit for 11 days now. What's really scary is because this these hunts are full odds. Did I just burp into the mic? Did I? I I know I cleared my throat. Did I even burp? I always burp when I I always burp into the mic. But I, did I do it just now, or did I just clear my throat?
anyways, like, because these hunts are full odds, what's scary is this has every potential to not shine for a really long time. Like, I did Articuno first, and that took 16 days to shine. And I'm only on d uh, day 11 for this one. It has a potential, it has every potential to go even longer than 16 days. Remember Moltres for me and Let's Go? That took, I think, 21 days. So three weeks, maybe it was 22 days. I think it was 22 days. Regardless, it took three weeks for that full odds hunt to show up. So I'm on, me being on day 11 means nothing. It could very well take three weeks or more. It could take longer than three weeks. It could take over a month. That's not impossible. The longest hunt I think I did was six months on and off, but that one was like full, full odds, like one in 8,000 odds. You know me yawning just now reminded me of a really stupid time in my elementary school? I know I said this at different points before, but for some reason, there was a point in my school where people would say bless you for absolutely everything, not just sneezes. You sneeze, you yawn, you cough, you would, you would be told bless you for some stupid reason I don't I don't think anyone else remembers that too like if I if I asked someone who was you know also there at that time I don't even remember which grade it happened in but if I ask if I ask one of my friends who who I've known throughout elementary school I doubt they would even remember that ever happening. It, it wasn't really long-lived either. It happened for a really short while, and then it just disappeared. And no one ever mentioned it again. I think I remember too. I yawned, and I was told, bless you. I could have my memory wrong. Like, my facts wrong, but I don't know. I just feel like that happened. Like, me yawning and was told, bless you. Well, enough about me, what are you guys up to? While I'm doing this, I'm actually just scrolling through Instagram, see what there is. Did you just leave a comment with nothing on it? Oh, it's... Oh, that says toxic. It took a moment for it to pop up on, on the screen. I don't know what happened there. Bread just reminds me of the family feud question. Oh, you know what? Oops, I forgot something I was supposed to do tonight. I was supposed to make guacamole. Oops, 
I got three super ripe avocados in my fridge. Oops, I was supposed to do that earlier. Whoops. That emote reminded me of the Family Feud quest. Too soon. Uh, family Feud question, like using the barter system. Tell us something we can give you for your man. And the woman was just like, bread. Bread. Damn, Jody, using the barter system. T tell me something we can give you f in exchange for your man. Hell, loaf of bread. It's a chicken nug chicken nugget. It's from another streamer's channel that I got that I got gifted a sub to. Nice. That's a chicken nugget? I thought it was a loaf of bread. Wait. Not even a loaf of bread. It looks like a slice of bread. How I how I've been sitting down and doing this for 20 minutes already. 20 minutes has passed. Well, I just produced 20 minutes of garbage. <laughs> I mean, look at the context. What am I doing? What 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 content am I putting out there? Exactly. <laughs> What's UBIY mean? What's that mean? I just hope if I make the guacamole tomorrow, the avocados won't be rotten. Because the avocados I bought were already, you know, pretty ripe. UBY, UB, UBY, Ubisoft is a gaming studio. I know what Ubisoft is. I don't know. I, I don't think I've heard of UBY. I mean, look at what I do all day. You think I? You think I look the stuff up? <laughs> Cheaters in Rainbow Six is why we ask you be why. What's the point of asking that? Like, what does it answer? Does it answer prove if they're cheaters or not? I also know about the thing where people can hack their switches and they can get shinies whenever they want. Like that's like people can fake reactions that way. They could just pretend, you know, they can hit a button to to 100% guarantee a shiny will show up and then they just pretend like they're all excited and acting like, "Oh my god, a shiny. Holy crap. Make sure to like and subscribe." All that stuff. Yeah, I can't do that. I can it's not even I can't do that. I don't even know how to do that nor would I want to. Hack shinies, there's no there's no satisfaction in that. You think I want to spend 11 days doing this? I do it cuz it's the only option I have. My only other option is don't do this. Stinking Joy-Con drift.
So, t uh, originally tomorrow I was supposed to get the day off of work. Well, that's clearly, that's not the case. Gotta go to work tomorrow. It's no big deal anyways, nothing happens at work. Don't nobody come into the store, so I just sit there. And what I'm supposed to do is study, but I find a reason to not. My lazy procrastinating ass always finds a reason not to study. It's like, okay, one more video. Okay, one more thing, and then I'll study. At least today I actually did. Somewhat. Like, today I did begin. What I did was I... Uh, I rewatched the recorded lecture of my classes, but it's like all the help that's gonna give me for a class that's you know calculations heavy. Yeah, I'm not passing this goddamn course. Live my life knowing I'm a failure. Don't I work every day? Yes, I'm. S I supposed to. I'm supposed to have one day off every week, and that's usually Thursdays. But guess not tomorrow. It's no big deal. The only the only harm that honestly does is me just waking up a few hours earlier. Other than that, I just do the exact same thing. I just sit down, either game, or you know, study like I'm supposed to. God damn it. Why, why, why is school so hard? You know, it's really hard to motivate yourself to do good in something you honestly have no interest in. For a hot second, I thought that was it, but it's not. You know, before anyone asks me why you win this program, why you even, why you win school if you have no interest, well. First of all, what I'm learning right now is the family business. I got nothing else I plan to do in life. At least not right now, so may as well just do the family shit first. Which I regret doing every day. And also, you know, what interests do I have in life? Playing games, watching shows and films. I can't earn money from that. There's not, you know, there's not like a school program where they teach you to sit down and watch TV shows. No, the programs at best are teaching you how to make shows like cinematography. And that's not that's not what I do. What I do is I is I watch the damn things that are already made. And you know, I like I I scour every single frame to find the most obscure of hidden details. You know, I, I can't I can't earn money playing games and watching shows and films. I need to I need to get something from school. I need to get a degree for something. But yeah, it's really hard when the program you're in you have no interest in doing. And I know people are going to ask me too, like, why don't you just find a program that you are interested in? Well, there isn't anything I'm interested in, in learning. I thought there was at one point, but then I got, you know, first-hand experience of what it would actually be like, and I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. I, ain't, I ain't studying that.
You know what I? You know what kind of conversations I can't wait for in the future too. Whenever the hell I'm done with this program that I'm currently in, this program, as if everything goes good and I don't fail, this should be the final year for me. So I should graduate next year. I should probably have. I probably would have already been graduated by this time next year. As long as I pass. If I don't pass, well, that's another semester I'm held back. But yeah, like, at this moment, what I plan, what I, my, my plan right now is once I'm done this program, I'm taking a, I'm taking a break. I ain't going back to school for a good year or two. Because, <laughs> hell no. Nah. I, I'm not subjecting myself into that torture immediately after. I'm like, all right, I'm done. There goes three years of my life for this freaking piece of paper in a frame. And it's like, my family will be like, great, do it again. I'm just here thinking like, yeah, no, I just did all that. I'm free. I ain't going back into that right away. I'm not gonna stop at one program in my life. Like, I'm not gonna stop after just one degree and say, well, the rest of my life is set. Of course, I, unfortunately, I gotta go back, do another program at some point. You know, the more education you have, the better. That means the more suffering for me, but whatever. That's the world we live in. The cruel fate I was I was burdened with called, you know, being born. But yeah, once I'm done this program, my plan is to take a year or two off. Just, you know, relax, do whatever the hell I want. Excuse what I'm doing. The conversation I can't wait for is you know, like a year after I graduated, my family is like, why are you just wasting time? Why aren't you taking another program? All this time you took off, you could have already been in your program, studying. I can't wait for those conversations, and I'm just like, I, I'm not doing that immediately after, right, right away. Like, I also know one argu argument my sister is going to use, too. Because when she finished this program, the exact same program I'm in, she technically didn't stop. She took another program right away. She passed that program, and now she's like, I'm done. I took two programs, I'm done with school for the rest of my life. I know my sister is going to use that argument on me. You know, I take time off, and she's like, why are you wasting time? I didn't. I went from one program to another, and I'm just like, great. I'm not you. You did that. Don't mean I have to. I don't know. That's, this is just me complaining about school. You know. Just venting on the fact that I'm here doing this when I should be studying. Then again, I also have to do the treadmill, wash my hair. I think everyone clicked off over my rant. They're like, oh, he's, he's fuming. Let's just let him have this. We're just going to, you know, leave him to his works or whatever. We're just going to let him be, and then when he's done, then we'll, then we'll join back for some fun conversation, some, some up, uplifting, brighter topics. It started snowing again tonight. 
I mean, I like the cold weather. I like the snow, but it's March. When when is winter ending? Shouldn't winter have ended? I don't know. I don't know these things. You think over two decades on this planet, I would know when seasons start and end. All I know is, without this even being factual or not, there are 12 months in a year, four seasons, 12 divided by four, that's three. So in my mind, each season lasts three months. So if winter begins in December, December, January, February. So end of February is when winter should end and spring should begin. Spring is after winter, right? Yeah. Spring, autumn, wait. No, spring, summer, autumn, winter. That's how it works. So yeah, we should be around springtime now. And then March, April, May, end of May is when the end of spring is. Summer is June, July, August, duh. And then autumn, September, October, November. That's just the way I remember it. Each season's three months. I've been on for almost 40 minutes. I wasted 40 minutes of my life doing this. Well, it's not like... Eh, it's not like I haven't already been doing that for... Like, uh... Like 11 days prior to this. to study but I don't want to fail Something I should also mention. Uh, I, I briefly touched on this at the beginning. I don't know which songs are copyrighted or not. Last time I used Wooded Kingdom from Mario Odyssey. That, that makes me a little nervous to play Mario Odyssey. Either on YouTube or stream it on Twitch. Because either I would have to mute the entire Wooded Kingdom area. Or... Well yeah, that's basically it. Either I mute the game audio and I talk. Or... Or I don't even bother, and the entire area is muted without even me even talking. You're doing schoolwork right now, finishing up some group project things, and I'm going to finish writing notes for my other courses, so I'm ready for finals. Well, good for you, being a productive student, being a, being, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, is the word I'm looking for a benefit, like, being a benefit to society? Unlike me, is what I'm trying to say. Because me, I'm more of a nuisance to society. Anyways, so yeah, that's why I'm a little nervous to play Mario Odyssey. That's also why I'm nervous to play Mario Galaxy 2 whenever that comes out. Because I'm still waiting for it. Because a while ago when I used Puzzle Plank Galaxy music, yeah, that got claimed as well. I'm still waiting, Nintendo. I never got a Galaxy 3, but you know, I'll take I'll take a Galaxy 2 port to the Switch 
You already gave me Galaxy 1, so why not give me Galaxy 2 as well? You know, my number one favorite Mario game of all time. I'm still waiting for it to be ported over. Yes, I like Galaxy 2 more than 1. Is the word I'm looking for contribution? Being a contribution to society? Well, everything positive about you, homie, is not me. What? God, it's... What's hard about the my class, too, is the calculations. And also, you know, the case studies or whatever, like the specific scenarios where if this is the case, you need to do this in the calculations. If this is the case, you have to change this about the calculations. Like, you need to know all that by heart. Not only do you have to know the formula, you also know how, you also have to know what to change whenever... Like, depending on what the question is, what what is given. If this number is higher than 4, you need to do this. If this is a plus sign instead of a minus, you need to do this. And then you need to plug it all into this formula. You need to know what every number everywhere means. Like, it's so much to memorize. If it was just, you know... One formula for one thing, that's not that's not that bad. But because there's so many different scenarios, so many case studies, where it could be anything, honestly. Like, w one little thing changes. One, one little, like, plus or minus sign, or even the number itself. One number can change up how the entire formula works. So not only do I need to know how the formula works, but I also need to know every possible situation that... I have to calculate for. And don't get me wrong, the formula is not that easy either. There's like seven steps to this formula. If even, like, might be more than that. My professor did say that we're allowed to have one formula sheet with us on our midterm, but what I'm afraid of is, you know, I show up, or not just me, everyone shows up to the midterm holding a sheet with formulas on it, and then she's like, what are you doing? I never said, I never said you can do this. Like, that's what I'm afraid of. I mean, it wouldn't hurt if I brought one and did it. Well, I mean, and used it, I mean. <sighs> And if she says that's not allowed, then I just put it away. I've already explained prior, like, how much I have at stake if I fail this class again. Like, how much is on the line for me and my family if I don't pass. It's a lot, too. Like, it's a lot of pressure on my shoulders. If I don't, if I don't pass, all this stuff is going to happen, and it's going to be all my fault. You know, I didn't ask for this. Did not ask to be put in this position, but I am. Knowing that if I fail, all those dominoes are going to topple, and it's all because of me.
Yet I'm still here doing this garbage. Still shinny hunting. I'm not stopping till I get this too. That's the life of a shiny hunter. You do not stop until you get it, no matter how long it takes. Sometimes it gets frust it gets frustrating. Like so much time has passed, you feel like you've more than earned it by now. But the game just doesn't give it to you. Not even the game knows when when it'll show up because it's always randomly generated. <laughs> Now that was a burp. It's like you get mad at a game and it's not even it's their fault. It's not even the game's fault. I'm seeing this meme on Instagram. Captain Marvel when she meets Cersei. Minerva? Who the hell is Minerva? Like you have you have Cersei's head over Winter Soldier's body, like in that one scene. Bucky? Who the hell is Bucky? I mean, the MCU has already confirmed people can two different characters can be played by the same actor. And thus, two different characters in the same universe can look exactly the same. At this point, it's like no big deal. The only thing missing is the two characters that look identical actually meeting. You know, we had, we've had multiple cases of that earlier. Already. Way before, you know, Minerva and Cersei. God, I always forget this guy's name. I need to look it up. Uh, we have Kovos on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. He's, he played a character on The Incredible Hulk. And I keep forgetting the character's name. I think in Falcon and Winter Soldier, the actress who played Shelly, I think that's her name. The the dealer in uh, Madripoor, she played a S.H.I.E.L.D. doctor on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh. Hi there, welcome. Peter Mensah, that's his name. I keep forgetting his name. And I especially keep forgetting who he played in Incredible Hulk. Joe Greller, that's the character he played. So in the MCU, Joe Greller looks the exact same as Kovos. And then I believe Michelle Yeoh, she played two characters in the MCU as well. She played Jiang Nan in Shang-Chi and she also played... Who, who she played in Guardians Volume 2? I think it was, I think it was her.
Alita Ogard, that's who she played. She played two characters in the MCU. But because Alita is in like the other another section of the universe, I doubt the two characters will ever actually meet. So it's like who cares if <clears throat> if two characters look the exact same in the un in the same universe and one is on the other side of the universe. I guess that's kind of the same for, you know, Minerva and Cersei, Greller and Kovas. Only person this doesn't really apply to would be would be uh would be Shelly and the Shield Doctor. And then there's also Mahershala Ali. He played Cottonmouth on Luke Cage, and now he's and now he's Blade. There's also Alfre Woodard, she played Mariah on Luke Cage, and she played that one, that one-off character in Civil War. So it's like, yeah, we got people who look the exact same in the MCU. It's like, at this point, it's no big deal, because there's been so many cases of it happening. Like, them just reusing the same actors. I will be pissed, though, if... if in the right moment, in the right scene, they never bring it up. Like, if Luke Cage, if they bring Mike Coulter back, Luke Cage, if he ever meets Blade, they don't mention, he's like, you look just like Cottonmouth. If they don't mention that, like, if scenes like that happen and they don't bring it up, I will be pissed. Like, Luke Cage walks into the same room as Blade, he's like, Cottonmouth? Blade's like, no, I'm Blade. Who the hell's Cottonmouth? Like, that'd be a, that'd be a pretty neat nod to people like me who watch the Netflix shows. <clears throat> but yeah, at this point, it doesn't really matter if they reused actors, because they've... The two... The two... Or multiple characters that the actors have portrayed have never been in the same room together. Have never shared a scene together. <clears throat> and up to this point, there's really no purpose for that to even happen anyways. Three different spider man is different. Because those are different actors. Oh yeah, there's also there, there's also this one who I this one uh, this one case with I didn't even notice the first time I watched. Let's see, I need to look up the actress's name. Uh, in Shang Chi, Katie's grandmother Wai Po. Played by Sai Chin, I think, I think that's how you say her name. The actress, she also played Melinda May's mom on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And then there's also like, like a... Uh, like fourth wall destroy, oops. Fourth wall destroying cases like, you know, Nick Fury, Sam L. Jackson was in Star Wars, and they clearly have Star Wars in the MCU because Peter Parker's a big fan of Star Wars.
This is one stubborn iceberg. Eh, I've had worse. Don't forget, Articuno took 16 days, and I'm only on day 11 for this. Seems like, <clears throat> excuse me, seems like Destiny does not want me to have this shiny today. You know, it kind of sucks too, because out of everything I'm going to shiny hunt in this game, this is the shiny... That's the worst. Has the least difference. And this is a shiny I want the most to be done with out of everything. Like future shinies, I'd be fine if they take a really long time, except for Mesprit and Griselia. I hope those ones happen fast. Like other future shinies, I'm fine with them happening a lot later, like taking a lot longer. Because with those, at least I can see the difference. Like, if the shiny for this pops up and I wasn't paying attention, I would have to, you know, stare at it like, is that it? I, I didn't see. I wasn't paying attention. I have to go through the process of catching it just to check if it is or not. And if it's not, well, I just wasted a bunch of time. At least with other shinies, I can see a difference. That's not it. <sighs> Why did my life bring me to this point? I fail school and I waste my life shiny hunting. What what decisions in my life brought me here? I'm seeing this this post on Twitter. If you ever feel stupid, just remember that Natasha Romanoff tried to kill Thanos with a taser.
Oh yeah, I also saw this post on Instagram too. I think no, actually it was it wasn't Instagram, it was YouTube. It was one of the YouTube community posts. It shows, you know, the X-Men timeline or whatever. It shows Michael Fassbender's uh, Eric, his Magneto, 1962, 1973, 1992, it's all Michael Fassbender. And then the year 2000, I believe, what's his name, Ian, Ian something, Ian Glendon, what's his name? Is that even his name? Like, what's his name again? The person who played the older Magneto. It's not Ian Glendon, it's Ian McKellen. That's his name. Whoops. So the first three were Michael Fassbender, 1962, 1973, and 1992. Those are Michael Fassbender. And then the year 2000 is Ian McKellen. It, this was posted by CBR. It's like, it's crazy what eight years can do to a person. 1992 is Michael Fassbender. Eight years later in the year 2000, it's Ian McKellen. Goddamn, eight years. Well, I've been on for over an hour. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be here for. Mm, maybe five more minutes. When it hits, maybe when it hits 11.20, I'll go. Trust, I'll still be doing this on my own time, just not here. I really wish that on the Switch, there was a faster way to reset. Kind of like the DS and 3DS had. Could you imagine if on the DS, you had to, you know, turn off the entire system and then open it? Or the 3DS, you go to the home menu, you close the whole game, and you reopen it. You could have done that, but why would you if there was a... Wait, why would you because there was a faster reset method? But not on the Switch, you really have to go to the home menu and close the entire game. And then reopen it. That's how you soft reset in this game. Or on this system.
Well, I don't really have much else to talk about tonight. So, in a minute, I will end this, because I've got nothing else to talk about. Alright, I'll do one more reset after this. Alright, last reset for the night. Perhaps shiny luck last? What? Lucky last, maybe? I doubt it. But not impossible. <laughs> the unlikely was more likely. Okay, well... That'll be it for me tonight. Well, bye everyone.